What's up y'all and welcome back to my channel. It is spring. Finally, it is here and I thought it would be fun to sit down, go through my collection and pull out all of the different eyeshadow palettes that I felt like were perfect for spring. That have those spring vibes, those garden earthy tones, pinks, greens, pastels, all of the things. So I have 25 different palettes sitting right here in front of me and we're going to go over them today, maybe give you a little inspiration. Maybe you have some of these in your collection. Maybe you've been eyeballing some of them. Maybe you're looking for the perfect spring palette and I have it sitting right here in front of me. Now, I will link and list as many of these eyeshadow palettes as I can down in the description box. Some of these are discontinued, I do apologize, but they still deserve the love and recognition because some of you absolutely still have these in your collection. So, if you wanna see what 25 eyeshadow palettes I pulled that I think are perfect for spring, then stick around for the rest of the video. All right, so before we jump into these 25 palettes, I wanted to let you know that I did film this look and it will be live on my channel soon as a short as well as over on Instagram as a reel. And I will also link and list everything that I am wearing down in the description box. So if you're curious, check down there for any information in this video. I always put as much information as I can down there. But let's go ahead and start with the first palette, which happens to be the one that I'm actually wearing today, and that is the Bella Beauty Bar Pastel Garden Palette. And this palette is so beautiful. I mean, how can you not say this is perfect for spring? This is the first one that came to mind when I was pulling palettes. Now, these are not in any particular order. This is not a ranking. This is just kind of going through them. I am gonna try and keep them together by brand, but we'll see what happens. But anyways, this is beautiful. I love this palette. It's big, yes, I don't normally go for big palettes, but this has like every single pastel shade you could possibly need. It even has some deeper shades in here. The shimmers are beautiful. It has that amazing Bella Beauty Bar formula that we know and love so much. And this one's perfect. If you have it, bust it out. If you don't and you're looking for a perfect pastel palette, this could be the one for you. Up next, we have the Midsummer Palette from Alter Ego. You could also pull out your ABH Nouveau Palette if you have that one. It is an inspiration from that, so just keep that in mind. But this is the color story, and I really love this. This one, to me, gives like earthy garden vibes. We have this pop of lavender, and we have this pop of like a really warm brown in here. This is beautiful. I do really enjoy the Alter Ego formula. I think it's nice. I know not a lot of people are fond of the fact that they kind of dupe color stories from other brands but the way I look at it is some people can't afford those brands or they just don't want to spend the money on it but they still want to play around the color story so I think it's fantastic that's my little PSA on it we're gonna get back to the palette but I think this is gorgeous I really love the tones in here I also love that we have like this golden yellow shimmer this one's beautiful for spring it's beautiful for year-round but I think it's perfect to bust out now how can we not mention the tiny marbles palette from Sydney Grace in collaboration with Mel Thompson first of all the cover art screams spring. I know it's like tattoo inspired, but we've got the butterflies, the ladybugs, we've got the ants, the spider, we've got all the things. But when you open her up, it's a beautiful spring color story. And Sydney Grace has a fantastic formula. The shimmers in here are so stunning. These two are my absolute favorite in the entire palette. But again, we've got the very spring colors. We've got this pop of pink, the purple, the green. I love this one. I love the formula. I love this palette. I do believe that it is still available on, Sid on Sydney Grace's website, so I will link it down below. But if you have this one in your collection, bust it out and show it some love. A newer one that was launched this year is from Dave Verone Cosmetics, and it's the Gloomy Garden Palette. And again, it's perfect for spring. Look at the color story. This is gorgeous. I love it. I do have a video and full review up on my channel featuring this palette, but 
This was another one that I immediately thought of when I thought of spring palettes. I just love the oranges in here. I think those are perfect. They really embody spring. I love the greens. I love everything about this one. The shimmers in here are beautiful. They're so reflective, so shiny. The matte formula is fantastic. I really enjoyed this palette. I really enjoyed playing with it. It's one of my favorites so far this year, and I just think it's absolutely perfect for spring. Okay, so I have two from Ladybug Glow. The first one is the End of the Rainbow palette that came out this past month in collaboration with Ice Cream Beauty. And this isn't just a St. Patrick's Day palette. To me, this is a spring palette. Like, it's got all the colors in it. I love that this is a smaller, more curated um, color story. You can get a lot of different looks in here. You can get very spring looks, light and airy. You can add a lot of depth. The shimmers in here are beautiful. This one down here, which is called Magical, is absolutely magical. It's beautiful. I do really enjoy this palette. So if you have it, use it, love it. It's beautiful. But also from the brand, the palette that came out last year, which is the Floresta palette, the cover art is adorable. I love the little koala sitting there, but look at this color story in here. Again, springy colors, the pops, they're not too vibrant, but they're not too muted, and that's what I think of when I think of spring. Again, I really enjoy Ladybug Glow's formula. I think it's beautiful. I like the shimmers in here. This color right here, what is called Rays, is an absolutely beautiful yellow shimmer shade. It's reflective, it's bright, it's got like a little bit of a flip to it. It is a little bit more on the chunky side, but it's just beautiful on the lid. It doesn't accentuate texture, and I really love this palette. Okay, so this next palette, I kind of went back and forth with whether or not to pull it out, but I pulled it out anyways because I feel like it can kind of go either spring or summer, so you might see this one in the next one for summer as well, but it's the Lethal Cosmetics Wildflower Palette. This one came out last year, and this is our color story. So yes, we have this bright neon pink in here, but if you take that one out, I feel like you get spring vibes. I really do. This shade right here, what's this one called? I don't even know. I'd have to pop it out to tell you, but this green shimmer shade right here is stunning on the lid. I love it. I really enjoy the Lethal Cosmetics formula. I don't have a lot from them. I just... I don't know why I don't order more from them. I really should, but this palette is gorgeous. I really enjoy it. I think it's perfect for spring and summer. So if you're looking for something that will kind of take you through two seasons, this is a good one. Now I have one palette from Unearthly Cosmetics. This is the Spaced Out palette that came out in the mini summer mystery box last year. And it's definitely spring. Not only does the cover art have spring vibes to it, but again, you have those shades in here that I think of whenever I think of spring. So you can definitely get some light, airy pastel looks, but you can also deepen it up. This is gonna be another one that will also take you into summer as well. I love the Unearthly formula. It is one of my absolute favorite indie brands. Their shimmers are always just so reflective and beautiful and shifty. They look beautiful on the lid. They stay on, they don't crease and their matte formula is just absolutely beautiful. I love the brand and I love this palette. I love that we got something a little smaller from them. So if you have this one, now's your chance to use it. Okay, let's talk Odin's Eye because I was impressed that I actually had as many spring vibe palettes as I do from the brand. But let's start with um, this one right here. This is the Earthwood palette in collaboration with Tina the Fancy Face that just came out this year. And First of all, the packaging is gorgeous, but the color story in here is definitely giving spring vibes. We've got our earthy tones. We've got the purple, the green, this actually really pretty like muted green, this orange right here, this shade beauty is absolutely stunning on the lid. Like you could very easily throw one of these shades in the crease, this all over the lid and go. I love this palette. This one actually ended up being my favorite of the three that came out, which kind of surprised me because I didn't expect that. It was like a curveball for sure, but this one's beautiful. It's fun. I really think it's going to be great for spring. 
And then of course we have the Spring Dragon palette, which duh, that was like a no brainer moment. This one is in collaboration with Judy and this is the pastel palette from Odin's Eye. This one's beautiful. Not only do we have our pastels, but we do have this brown in here as like a deepening up shade. We have this deeper pink up here. This one is beautiful. I love the shimmers in here. I love the formula. If you're looking for a pastel palette that is a little bit on the smaller side, maybe not as big as the pastel garden palette from Bella Beauty Bar, this is a good one. It's still available. The formula is great. The price point's great. And it's just a beautiful palette. I also have two from the collaboration that came out last year. So first we have the C Talk palette in collaboration with Lauren May Beauty. And this one is just... It's beautiful. I love this shade right here, Electric Kelp. It looks so pretty in the inner corner. It's a satin shade, so it's not a matte, it's not a shimmer, but it just has like this beautiful like softening effect that it does when you pop it in the inner corner. This shade, Mermaid Scales, is another one of my favorites in this palette, but I love that we have our neutrals, our blues, and then these two pops right here. This is one of my favorites that came out from this collection last year. And then of course we have the Flora Story palette in collaboration with Makeup Just for Fun. And this one is, I mean, need I say more? It's greens, it's purples, it's gardens, it's perfect for spring. The shades in here again are beautiful. This purple right here is so punchy and so beautiful. I love the shade Dawn Best Buds is another one that's gorgeous all over the lid and is an inner corner. This was one of my favorites. It kind of shocked me because I really went into this collection thinking that, um, which one was it? The Planet Spirit palette was going to be my absolute favorite, which I do love that one. But these two, they're amazing as well. So if you have them, hang on to them, use them. They're beautiful. And the last one is one of my favorites from the brand. It is the Hella palette in collaboration with Angelica Neatfist here on YouTube as well. And this one is perfect for spring. It's actually perfect for spring and summer, but it's a beautiful palette. I know you can't get it anymore. I know it's discontinued as well as these two right here. Uh, these may be still available on the website. If they are, they'll be linked down below, but I know for sure that this one is discontinued but it's beautiful. The greens, the pinks, this yellow up here, actually this whole top row makes a beautiful look on its own. I love the shade, where is it, River? The shade is gorgeous. It has such a beautiful flip to it, but this palette's beautiful. Like I said, I know it's discontinued, but if you have it, love it because this is such a unique color story. It's perfect for spring. It's perfect for fall even. Like this is just a good year round palette. But for me right now, this definitely screams spring. Okay, so I have one palette from Juvia's Place and that is the Nubian 3 Coral Palette. And this one is a little bit more on the neutral side, but those pops of corals in here, I feel like are perfect for the season. Yes, you're gonna get some neutral looks, but I mean, if you pop one of these colors in your crease along your lower lash line, you're still gonna have that neutral moment, but you can still kind of embody the season, embrace spring a little bit, bring some color into your look, but still keeping it neutral. I also love coral and gray together. This is a beautiful palette. It's affordable. Um, Juvia's Place does have a beautiful formula. They can be a little hit or miss, but usually across the board, they're pretty consistent. And this one is one of my favorites from the brand. Okay, let's move on to Adept Cosmetics. I have two from the brand. We're gonna start with their most recent launch, which is the Cyborg Choir palette right here. Now this one, I think we kind of all expected to be like a pastel palette. And when we open her up, we do have like this little quad of pastels and pops of color right here, but the rest of it is a little on the deeper side. We do have, like I just said, the yellow and the green and the purple right here. But if you take these shades and kind of fluff them out very softly and go in with a light hand, they disperse and they're not quite as dark as they seem in the pan. And even this shade right here, which is like a black, but it's like a blackened gray so it's not like a true deep black but you can definitely add this to either one of these get some depth out of it and then you have of course their beautiful shimmer shades and those colors to me are perfect for the season i love that yellow and that green in this palette 
this is a beautiful one. If you're looking into it, snag it if you want it. And then I also pulled the Seahorse palette as well. This is an all shimmer palette, but this is like pastel shimmers. It's beautiful. This one right here, I know I haven't swatched anything, but just, I mean, that is a gorgeous like yellow gold flippy eyeshadow and it just, it's gorgeous. It's absolutely beautiful on the eye. So maybe you're not looking for any like matte colorful shades. Maybe you like to stick with your neutrals and you just want to have a pop of color in your shimmer. This is a good palette for it. It is a little bit on the pricier side, but you get what you pay for. And Adept has such a beautiful shimmer shade formula. They have different different formulas in here. They're not all the same. You've got multi-chromes, duo-chromes, hollow-chromes. You've got some that are a little on the flakier side, some that are a little bit on the smoother side. They're beautiful. And if you use the right eyeshadow base, they stay put, they don't crease, and they're beautiful. And this palette, I absolutely love it. This is a very coveted palette in my collection. This is another one that I almost didn't pull, but I did just because I feel like it is perfect for this time of year and that is the Danessa Myricks Groundwork Blooming Romance Palette and I mean come on now it's pinks it's mauves it's purples it's all of your shades that are perfect for spring you can use this not only on your eyes but your lips your cheeks so it's definitely a multi-use palette I did just do a video with this palette and the original one as well so if you're curious on how to use it or if you want some inspiration some ideas check out that video I will link it down below and also check out Danessa Myricks's Instagram page because she does lots of looks and ideas and inspiration using these palettes Palettes, and you can use them in more ways than you might think but this one's beautiful I absolutely love it I love the formula I love that we have both like a velvety putty shade and a powder shade I absolutely love it and this one is perfect for spring as well okay so up next is cosmic beauty which used to be cosmic brushes and first let's talk about the serenity palette now this palette came out the year before last and it was kind of the palette that put them on the map it sold out several several times and for good reason because this is stunning and to me this is like spring in a palette. If you're looking for something that's a little bit more than pastels, but still kind of on the brighter side, this one's going to be perfect. You do still have your pastel shades in here, but you have these bright pops up here. You have these deepening shades, and the shimmers in here are absolutely stunning. They are flippy, they are reflective, they are so smooth and beautiful on the lid, and the price point of Cosmic Beauty is absolutely amazing. It's so affordable. I don't know how they do it, but this is a beautiful palette. This one and the next one are my, my two favorites from the brand and I love them. Um, I just, I love the brand. It's a good brand. We haven't seen anything from them this year, but I'm excited to see what they have in store. But the other one is the Muse palette and Oh, this is the first one that I tried from the brand because the color story just took my breath away when it was revealed because this is everything that I want in a palette. It's grungy, it's colorful, and it just has like that perfect garden vibe to it. These are my tones. These are my things. Earth tones, grungy tones, deeper tones. While I love my bright eyeshadows and I love my pastels, this is my comfort zone right here. This is my comfort zone, and these shades are gorgeous. Again, the same beautiful matte formula. This shade right here, which is called Antique, is so beautiful, it's so flippy on the lid, as well as this one up here called Luster. This is like the perfect inner corner shade, brow bone shade. You can use it as a highlighter. You can even put this over a matte, and it kind of shifts and transforms and brings out that color. This one is a stunning one, and both of these are absolutely perfect for this time of year. This is also a good one for fall as well. Okay, let's talk about the Profusion Petal Perfect Palette. Now this one I almost didn't put in here, but I have used it, and it's not a bad palette. It really isn't. I have played with it a little bit more since the video that went up um, yesterday using this palette, and 
Let me just say that the mattes in here are very light. They're a lot on the lighter side. So if you're afraid of depth, if you don't want a lot of depth, you just want a good wash of color, this is going to be perfect for you because it is a really good matte formula. The blues in here are not my favorite, but if you use this one on its own and don't layer it over anything, I went back and did that after the video and it is a nice blue. It's still not very deep, but it does work. And these two shimmers right here, after I swatched it, I realized that they are like more toppery shades, but I always swatch my palettes after I do my filming because I want to go in and just do like a first impression. So if I could redo that video after swatching it, I would have done that third look differently, but um, it is a nice palette. I do enjoy it. Yes, there's a lot of repetition in here and there's a little bit of like some inconsistencies with the shimmers. Some of them are poppy and beautiful and reflective and some of them are a little bit more on like the topper side. They're a little more dull, a little more see-through. There's not any, um, what's the word I'm looking for? There's not any shimmers in, he in here that are really opaque. They are all very very sheer except for I think it was these two right here these are like true to color but this is a nice palette especially for $20 and if you're just going to use a palette in the springtime and you're not going to use it throughout the rest of the year save some coins spend $12 you've got 35 shades and I do enjoy this palette it is a nice one it's not a favorite it's not a favorite formula but for the price point for, from the drugstore and for 35 shades you really can't beat it Okay, so I have two palettes from Glaminatrix, and the first one is the Pretty in Pastels palette. This is their most recent launch, and this is definitely a pastel palette, but you have your deepening up shades in here as well. You have two rows of some beautiful shimmer shades. Now, I will let you know that this pink and this yellow, they are a little bit on the lighter side, so you definitely want to use them over a white eyeshadow base they're going to pop better that way and they're actually going to look better on skin tones that are a little bit deeper than me for me they don't show up a whole lot but it is a beautiful formula they do perform very well they blend out nicely i love that we have these deeper shades down here and these shimmers in here they're beautiful they don't have a flip to them they're not like um duochromes or multi-chromes but they are spark sparkly they are metallic they are shiny on the lid they're very smooth and this green is so so pretty and then I also have the Sugar and Spice palette from Glaminatrix as well. And this one is more of a neutral palette, but it's these pops of color in here that do it for me. You've got the yellow, you've got the purple, the green. This shade right here is absolutely beautiful. Again, this is one of those that you can use year round. It's got your neutrals in it, so you can do your everyday more wearable looks if you're not allowed to wear color to work or you just don't prefer color. But then you have these shades down here that you can use just to add that little inner corner pop. Maybe you want to put a little bit on your lower lash line or just kind of spice it up with one of the shimmers. Again, I enjoy the formula. I like this palette and I think it's beautiful. Okay, we're down to three. This has been a lot of palettes, but let's pop over to Blend Bunny Cosmetics. This is the Lore palette and I adore this palette. It's one of my favorites from the brand and yeah. It's a spring color story and it's beautiful. I love how you can stick to each row and you have like a monochromatic look. We do have some neutrals down here that are more on the cool side. You've got your shimmers and this one right here is a multi-chrome. It's absolutely beautiful on the lid, but Blend Bunny has such a beautiful, beautiful formula and I love this palette. I've really enjoyed every single look that I've made with it. You can definitely keep it light and airy, but you can add some depth in here as well. And I do also want to mention one palette. Um, I was hoping it would be here in time for this, but it wasn't. But if you have the Blend Bunny Sickly Sweet palette, I will pop that up right here. That is another one that is perfect for the season. I have not tried it yet. It is on its way to me, but I have no doubt that it's the absolutely beautiful, amazing Blend Bunny formula that we all know and love because everybody has ranted and raved about it. And... I don't know why I slept on it, but I did. But if you have that one, that one's a good to pull, a good one to pull out as well. 
Okay, so I have two more palettes left. Let's talk about the Pastel Dreams palette from Give Me Glow. This was the first pastel palette that I ever bought and this is gorgeous. It is your basic pastel palette. It's got huge pans. It's got one of every color in it and it is beautiful. This is an absolutely stunning palette. It's another one that I recommend if you just want your basic pastel colors to dip into. This one is beautiful. The shimmers are gorgeous. The mattes are beautiful. Um, you can make lots of different looks. They are a little bit more on the saturated side. So if you're wanting something that's not quite as punchy as these, this may not be for you, but if you want a pastel that's got some good color to it, this one's beautiful. I love it. I do really enjoy this palette. I cherish it. It was my first pastel palette, like I said, and it's beautiful. And last but not least, we have the Ensley Rain Gardens of Enchantment palette. Now this palette came out the end of last year and kind of into this year if you pre-ordered it or depending on shipping dates, but how can we not include her because she is an absolutely gorgeous pastel palette with depth. So this is beautiful. You do have all of your pastels. It is missing like the oranges and the yellows. So if you're looking for those more pastel shades, this is not gonna be your girl. This is definitely more on the cool tone side of pastels. But the shimmers in here are what makes this palette so unique and so beautiful. Not to mention the layout in here is so aesthetically pleasing, but this shade up here, which is called Fay, is so shifty and just ethereal and beautiful, either all over the lid, inner corner, brow bone. This one is a beautiful highlight. The shimmers in here are so gorgeous. They're not pressed glitters. They're not hard to work with. They don't crease. They don't fade. Um, some of them have a little bit more of a texture to them, but I haven't noticed any that bring out the texture in my lids. But this is a beautiful palette. I adore it. If you could care less about the yellows and the oranges and you just want some pinks, purples, greens, and blues, this is going to be your girl right here. All right, so that's it. That is all 25 palettes in my collection that I think are absolutely perfect for spring. Let me know, do you have any of these? Have you pulled these out for spring? Do you have a palette in your collection that you think is perfect for spring? Let me know all of your thoughts down in the comments. I wanna know, let's discuss it, let's talk about it. If there's any of these palettes that you wanna see looks with, let me know. I'm more than happy to create a short with them or a reel over on Instagram. Um, I'm also starting my Shop My Stash series very, very soon, and I will give y'all the opportunity to decide on some of the products that I use in those, but that is going to be it for this video. So as always, I want to thank you for watching my video and spending your time with me. It means so, so much to me. And if you did enjoy this video, give it a big thumbs up before you leave. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click on that notification bell so that you can be notified of all my future posts here on my channel. I do post quite a few videos every single week, most days if not every single day, and I wouldn't want you to miss one. But until my next video, have a good one. Bye.